I'm Andrew, I'm a virologist here at BioBest and ELISAs are probably the most common tests we do daily here and today I'm going to tell you about how they work. ELISA stands for Enzyme-Linked Immunosorbent Assay. ELISAs are used to detect the presence of antibodies or infectious agents within samples. If we take BVD ELISA for instance, for our in-house test, once we've harvested the antigen, we would then coat the plates and then leave them overnight. On the day of the test, we take the samples out, we add the serum to a dilution buffer, um, we then put that in the incubator for an hour. If there are antibodies present, they will then bind to the antigen. We then wash that and put a HRP conjugate on. Conjugate will bind to the bovine antibodies then put that in the incubator for another hour. And then finally, after the last wash, we add a substrate. On the end, end of a conjugate, as in as a particular enzyme, that will convert the substrate from a colourless liquid into colour. The higher the antibody titer, the more colour produced, and that is how we then determine our antibody titer for the sample. Here at BioBest, we do ELISAs for multiple infectious agents. BVD, IVR, Yonis. We produce and validate our own in-house ELISAs for BVD and IVR. This means that we produce the antigenic material that we then use to coat plates. These tests are better than your common kit ELISAs which use a, a single positive point, whereas we use a standard curve. This allows us to get a much more quantitative result. All these tests are good laboratory practice and ISO 17025 accredited. We take part in external QA schemes just to ensure that our results are comparable to our laboratories. Sample quality is actually very important and your vet will tell you that when they're trying to take the samples. Ideally we want something like that. Nice, nice se separated um, red blood cells and you've got a nice golden serum compared to this sample which as you can see is very dark black. You know, they too could have completely different results even though they might have the same antibody type.